I've always understood that the New Testament of the Bible was written in Aramaic and or Hebrew, but I had never gotten the opportunity to read it. And in one of my videos, as I was talking about the earthquakes of Revelations, I expressed the need to see what the Aramaic verses said compared to the Greek translation from which we get our King James Version. Because I had a question about the 7,000 individuals that were to be killed in that earthquake. Talking about Revelation chapter 11 verse 13, which says, In that same hour was there a great earthquake, and a tenth part of the city fell, and in the earthquake were slain of men 7,000. Now, this is supposed to be one of the biggest earthquakes that the earth has ever seen. But yet only 7,000 people seem to be, have been slain in this earthquake. It says slain of men 7,000. Well, if you remember the earthquake of 2009 that struck Haiti, that earthquake killed over 300,000 people. Yet in the apocalyptic earthquake, which is supposed to be much bigger, only 7,000 men will die. That just didn't make sense to me. And I expressed that in that video that I would like to see the arrow made because something just doesn't seem right here. Why would there only be 7,000 people to die in this earthquake when that earthquake killed over a quarter million people? So when you look at the book translated from the Aramaic instead of the book translated from the Greek, it paints a different picture. Revelation chapter 11 verse 13 says, in the same hour there was a great earthquake and a tenth part of the city fell and the persons killed in the earthquake were 7,000 names. So here you have 7,000 names where in the King James Version it says 7,000 men. Well this is much different because when you're talking about the 7,000 names you're talking about those who have their names written in the book of life. So this is a much bigger deal. 7,000 of the otherwise chosen elect will be killed in this great earthquake? That is a big deal. Is this 7,000 of the 144,000 that's mentioned in Revelation chapter 12? It's hard to say, but we know that this is just not 7,000 average men. As the King James Version implies, 7,000 normal people. No, these are 7,000 of the elect. 7,000 individuals who have been keeping the law and were expecting to inherit the earth after the tribulation. 7,000 people who had no intention on flying away. They had full intention of surviving the tribulation. But yet 7,000 of them will be killed during this great earthquake. That is a big deal. Like we said, this paints a whole different picture about this earthquake. This earthquake is much bigger than we were led to believe. Whereas before we could have been thinking of a small city that was subject to this earthquake. Now when it's talking about a tenth part of the city fell, statistically speaking, this could be all of North America. But I guess only time will tell. Again, I want to give special thanks to Silas from Long Beach for helping me out with this. Keep the comments coming. They really help out a lot. Shalom.